Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Sew Along. I'm Ginny and this week we have an inspiration video. Um, I had originally planned this to be a spring inspiration, but as we are still pretty much midwinter and we here in Michigan have had yet another ice storm. Um, here's a picture for you guys of how Claude is uh, managing to get up through this weather this winter. <laughs> Uh, and also, thank you to everybody who asked about Claude last week. Um, okay, enough about Claude. Inspiration. Um, at this time, like mid-season, I always tend to get a little bit uh, like, uh, like, I don't know what the word is, a little bit of a slump, um, a sewing slump. I'm excited for the spring and summer stuff, but it's not really quite time to get that, or I can't really get the patterns for that yet, or... Uh, fabrics aren't necessarily available just yet. Meanwhile, I'm completely over fall winter. So I thought I'd do a little digging around and see if I could come up with some things to inspire us to make a couple of new things just to get us through the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently than I usually do. Usually I sit here and I show you pictures like here. I'm going to do it th differently this time because I want to be able to use, um, I want to be able to fill the screen with the picture so you can really see what I'm talking about. I am focusing on three separate items. They're all three tops. Uh, let me see if I can remember what they are. Um, an oversized sweatshirt, a cropped shirt, and an asymmetrical, an asymmetric, asymmetrical knit top. Um, I've broken them into three sections, obviously. Uh, the three sections. I have um, some photo inspiration for you some um, from around the web, people wearing these particular styles. I also have some pattern ideas and some fabric ideas. So without further ado, let's get into it because I have a feeling it's going to take me a while to type up all these links. All right, first up is this uh, oversized zip front hoodie from Rundholz in a really pretty plum color. Definitely has a hood on there. This one is uh, the Zelda sweatshirt from Krista Larson, a pullover version with a kangaroo pocket, also a hood. Um, this is also a Zelda sweatshirt from Krista Larson. This one in a tunic or dress length and obviously in a really cool vegetable kind of print. And then next is this oversized short sleeve version, no hood on this one. This one is from Magnolia Pearl. Um, and this one also has like some sort of a applique patch on the front. This last one from Bluefish is a uh, pullover version with side pockets and a, it looks like a hand print on there. All right, for our pattern options, we have the Sewing Workshop West End Top, which is a short sleeve zip front version. Um, and then we have this more recent uh, uh, pattern from uh, Catherine Tilton for Butterick, almost like a jacket, this one. I thought also it would be, um, you could use the Sewing Workshop Bristol pattern um, and then I have the Style Arc Phoenix sweatshirt, um, the Hot Patterns Weekender Art School sweatshirt, which could be fun if you wanted to mix up some patterns. Uh, also from Hot Patterns, we have the Chillaxing Hoodie. Uh, this one doesn't have a zip, but it does, I think it buttons up the front. Um, also, I thought it would be possible to use the Merchant and Mills Landgate to do the really oversized sort of Crystal Larson version. Um, this is not meant for a sweatshirt, but I think it would be cool as one. For the longer dress or tunic style version, we have Berta 6074. And I also have another one from uh, Style Arc, and I apologize, I can't remember the name of this one, but I'll, I'll link it below. And then also, um, again, the Bristol from Sewing Workshop. For fabrics, we have this beautiful uh, Dutch print French Terry from Emma One Sock. 
Uh, the stars are also from Emma Wansock, an overprint French Terry. Um, and this one um, is Tie-Dyed Streaks, another French Terry from Emma Wansock. Um, and this Meet the, Meet the Maker <clears throat> organic cotton sweatshirt fleece looks just about exactly like that um, Rundholz fabric. This one is from uh, Style Maker, uh, Flower Wealth French Terry, and they also have a Vintage Garden Rose version. And then um, we have this one also from Style Maker. This one is uh, called Ultra Soft Marble Dyed Sweatshirt Fleece. And then this one is um, a Sherpa Fleece from Oak Fabrics. They do have this in a couple of colors and it looks lovely. And then this last one is from Marcy Tilton. This is a polyester polar tech kind of fleece in what's called a petroglyph print. Okay, next up we have our cropped shirt. The first one here is another one from Runholz. This one is in a sheer blue fabric. Um, the next two are both from a company called Rihanna and Nina. And I'm kind of crazy about both of these in these really bold, beautiful prints. I think these are both silk. Um, next up is one from a company called So, S-O-H, really simple, um, elegant, and um, minimalist sort of style. Um, and then this one here is from Lourdes Bergada, a long sleeve version, very similar to the So, only um, long sleeves. And then the last one here is a really cute, sort of more fitted style from Paper Temples. For patterns, I have uh, first the Merchant and Mills Ellsworth. Um, and next up is the, uh, from both of these are from the sewing workshop, the Now shirt for the long sleeve version and the Cottage shirt for a short sleeve version. Um, I also have the Style Arc Archie woven shirt. Uh, for a short sleeve version and from Makers Atelier I have the box shirt for a long sleeve version and for a short sleeve version the holiday um, I think it's called the holiday top or something it, you can do that in long sleeves or short sleeves that one does not have um, buttons or anything it's just a popover all right, for fabrics uh, from Stone Mountain, these next few are all from Stone Mountain. The first one here is a designer dead stock printed silk charmeuse in this beautiful pink and orange floral. That one comes at $30 a yard. Um, and then this cotton double gauze in a beautiful dusty blue, very reminiscent of that Rundholz shirt for $18 a yard. Uh, the Japanese cotton jacquard gingham um, in a black or brown and beige uh, colorway for $31.50 a yard. And another check, this one is a buffalo check in an organic cotton double gauze. This one is in steel blue on sale for $9.50 a yard right now. And I'm pretty sure they do that, have that in a couple of other colors. And then um, another really beautiful uh print this Japanese cotton sheeting in a modern floral sketch in jewel and that one is $27.75 a yard. From Marcy Tilton we have this Coronado silk twill at $48 a yard. Um, a more uh, intricate less bold print this tropical paisley cupro for $26 a yard and for something a little more organic looking this newer cotton ecot at $30 a yard and she has a ton of other ecots if you if you like that um, also this Mari Italian woven overprint is pretty fabulous that's $35 a yard from cutting line designs she does have some fabrics she has a bunch of Japanese prints I'm just gonna give you a couple of them here so you can get an idea. These are um, both cotton prints and they are $28 and $29 a yard each. All right, moving on to our last category, the asymmetric knit top. 
The first two here are from a company called A. Louis, and um, I just really like that they're super bright and super bold, and um, yeah, that brings a lot of, just bring a lot of color to this time of year. The next one is this really cool sort of tie-dye version from Cynthia Ashby. Um, and then I have from Crystal Larson a uh, sort of, I, I don't know, I think this is more like a square cut top, but it's hanging sort of asymmetrically. Um, and then from Alambica, I have something called the Essential Joy Tunic. Um, this is a sleeveless version, but of course, it would be great under things or um, over things even. And then this last version is another Lourdes Brigada um, top. This one, I think this is a cotton knit. And again, a really basic style, but you could really amp this up with your fabrics. For pattern choices, um, I have Vogue 1733, which I was talking about last week. Um, which is pretty perfect for this style. Um, and then I have Butterick 6817. Um, I think that one is a Catherine Tilton pattern. Um, I have, what do I have next? I have um, another Catherine Tilton Butterick 6492. We've actually made this one here before as a sew along, and I'll link that for you if I can find it. Um, Butterick 6752, there are several versions in this pattern and I think they can all work for this look. Um, the Style Arc Perry, I think this one is actually made for a woven fabric, but I think it would be easy enough to make that in a knit if you wanted to. Um, and then the Style Arc Bianca, uh, slightly more casual, like almost sweatshirty style, but you could have a lot of fun with the pattern, with the mixing patterns on that, with those side panels. And then the last one is the Style Art Kim Swing Top, which looks really basic and simple. I like that uh, Lord of Brigada top, but you could have a lot of fun with those patterns on that, uh, fabric patterns. All right, and speaking of fabrics, um, from Stone Mountain, we have this beautiful Lady McElroy Viscose Jersey in uh, the Copper Corsage print, and that is, colorway is marine at $26 a yard. Now, I think they actually have that in a couple of other colorways as well. Um, they have this really cool uh, designer dead stock Italian rayon spandex. Um, this colorway is called Blue Smoke Floral, although it doesn't look floral to me. Um, it might in a, in a bigger, uh, when you can see more of it. That one's $22 a yard. From Style Ma sorry, from Style Maker, we have this marbled agate print in a matte rayon jersey. This colorway is called Sage, and it's $26.99 a yard. Um, a more bold print from them is the Statement Feather Collage in a rayon jersey. That one is $24.99 a yard. And also the Garden Flower Collage in um, also rayon jersey. That one's $16.99 a yard. From Marcy Tilton, we have this amazing Chevron, Chevron Garden print at $22 a yard. Uh, Marcy Tilton has a ton of stripes that would be really fun to um, play with with some of these tops. I've selected two here, the Al Green and the Gladys Green, which I think look really cool together and would be fun to mix. From Emma Wansock, we have some of my favorite knits. She has um, these cotton spandex Dutch digital print panels. This first one is Land of Flowers. That one is $28 a yard, but each panel is 2.2 yards. So you have to order 2.2 yards. The second one is uh, Klimt's, the Kiss panel. This would be really fun to uh, put half on the front and half on the back, and I think you'd have plenty on the sides to make your sleeves. That one is $25 a yard. Again, you have to order 2.2 yards. And then the last one here is the Crown of the Kaleidoscope. This is another ditch, 
sorry, <laughs> Dutch digital print, but this one is not a panel and it comes in at $26 a yard. All right, guys, I hope everybody found something in there to inspire them to make something new and fresh to get you through the next couple of weeks. Um, I am currently working on a couple of the asymmetric knit tops and hopefully I'll be able to show you those next week. Um, in the meantime, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Thank you as always for coming and spending time with me. And I guess that's it for this week. Happy sewing.